Here we go with the JJ's. These are KT88's. So, KT88's the 6550's are great replacements for one another. Here's our 1.56 volts, our 120 in. And we're starting at 2 kilohertz on this one. Alright, that. Oh, looks like it's whoa. It's doing pretty good. Wow, not doing bad at all. Half percent at 20.4 volts. 2 kilohertz. A little bit of glitching right there. Slightest. That's our. 0.4% at 20.3 volts. Let's see what that is. 20.3 squared 8 divided 51 watts. Two one watts at 2 kilohertz, 0.3%. Go to 20 hertz. Get her to settle down there. Bring it up. Whoop! Starts to fall apart there. That's not bad. Oh, no, that's not bad at all. Doing very well. That comes in glued right there, a little bit below that. There we go. 19.2 volts at 0.2 percent. Nice sine wave. Well, I'll get a little glitching there. That's what makes it start jumping around. 0.2. Just want to be steady at about 19.2 at about 0.2. 20 hertz. Clean sine wave. We can get a little bit more out of it. Maybe get up to half percent. All right, it wants to really go. Uh, really want to go. To, wants to go kaput really quick on us there. Once we overdrive it. And I'll see our sine wave is randomly acting up. We it just can't can't take it there. You can do 19.2 volts at 0.2 to 0.3% nice sideways, so that's good. Well, sort of. It's still not stabilizing. Let's drop it down a little bit more. There we go, 19 volts. It'll do 19 volts at 20 hertz, that's not bad. 19 squared 8 divided 45 watts. 45 watts at 20 hertz. Pretty stable there. Those are our JJ's. The perfect match, they say. Perfect match quad. This is two of them.